welcome back. Glad you could join me again. This is uh, part two of the um, <clears throat> wander around the fantasy woods, is what I'm going to call it. Uh, I've moved a bit further into the, the woods now. Uh, I'm at a, an avenue of beech trees. There's like a ridge line, and all these beech trees have sort of grown up along this ridge line. Um, this place is quite ancient from all accounts. Um, I think we're going back to sort of Neolithic times that they, this, this area was actually occupied. It's not surprising. It's um, really high ground with good views all around. So it would have made a good uh, place to live um, a long time ago when I was at school. <laughs> anyway, uh, the scene uh, you can see behind me here is this truly magnificent beech tree, which is decided to grow not only upwards, but that way as well. And you've got these incredible branches coming off of it. I don't know if they're actually other trees that have just been forced out. I don't know. I don't really know enough about trees to, to know, but it just looks amazing. Very Lord of the Rings-esque. Um, and you've got some exposed roots underneath there, which are a slightly different colour. The, the, the moss here at the minute is just, as you can see, it's a really, really vivid green, um, which I might have to <laughs> tone down uh, when it comes to Photoshop, because... I find the greens in woods, they can be a little bit too vivid sometimes and it looks a bit artificial. So what I do tend to do is just, just to mute them a little bit. Um, but these, these the yeah, the, 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 the moss at the minute is absolutely spectacular. Uh, I'll show you the shot on the back of the camera. If you can get it in there. There you go. Let's just brighten that up a bit. So it's a fairly simple composition. It's just a bank of trees with these boughs sort of going off to here so you create these nice leading lines coming in got a bit too much um dead space down this section so what i might do is i might actually recompose and actually put it up a little bit more to, just to get rid of some of that uh, the mist is coming and going um it's just a case of i mean you can see it over there <clears throat> occasionally it's drifting up the hill and coming into the woods but not so much it creates too much atmosphere unfortunately but you know, you take what you get. And um, I have managed to get a few shots with some atmosphere, so I'm pleased with that. It's just a shame the bluebells aren't out as um, much as I thought they would be here. I mean, it's gonna be bluebell, bluebell heaven here. It's splurge bluebells. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're another, probably I would say a couple of weeks away here, which is uh, a shame, but I mean, I can get up here when I work anyway, because I only do four days a week, so I've got three days spared, I can get up here and get shots in of the, the bluebells anyway. So, right, we're gonna get this shot and then we're gonna move down to um, another tree that I like. Um, uh, I think I had, uh, it's called the Elven Avenue on my Flickr account, um, if you wanna go and have a look at that. It's a, it's a beautiful tree and it's a really nice composition as well. But again, need a bit of atmosphere for that one to really work, but we'll show you it anyway and we'll see if we can get some kind of shot out of it. And then I'm gonna head up to that ridge line up there so a bit more huffing and puffing to do. Um, and we'll see what's up there. Cause I haven't really explored that section before. So it'll be worthwhile to pop up there and, and have a look. Okay, so we'll um, catch you in a bit. Okay, I think I'm recording. Uh, so we're gonna do a bit where we're walking and talking. I've got the DJI out again. Um, obviously I haven't had any chance to learn how to use it since uh, last week's video, but uh, we're going to give it a go anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's, um, it's a beautiful morning. It really is. There's not a breath of wind up here. And I'm heading now to this tree that I used in the shot for the Elven Avenue, which did quite well on Flickr. And it's uh, one of my one of my favourite photos, and I think one of the people who liked my images, they also think the same as well. But, uh, God, look at this tree here. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Just so many nice trees here. It really is. I mean, look, uh, this, this mist keeps coming and going, and it, it'll, it'll sort of drifting but it's not staying around long enough unfortunately it just literally it's just teases teases of mist it's not good enough i want more mist my mate mr shaw was here we certainly be getting a lot more mist than this i know it he's a mist he's a mist whisperer 
but um, yeah, so let's um, carry on walking, uh, enjoy the noises and the sounds because I mean it's beautiful woods, it really is. I mean, it's, I've had woodpeckers, um, big birds, little birds, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Attenborough, I'm not, but um, yeah, we'll get to this tree and we'll get the shot set up and then I'll get back to you then. So I found this tree. Um, I've seen it before, but I think the last time we came up here, there was obviously there's a lot more leaves about then because it was the middle of summer, so it was quite um, hidden in amongst all the bracken and oh, smaller trees here. But now it's exposed a bit more. Uh, it's just some leaves springing out on it, but I mean it's a really nice composition. I'm just going to show you again on the back of the camera, as you can see going with just a full frame shot and you've got these leading lines of these trunks coming in here which I'm assuming have fallen off the tree because the tree is damaged and then you've got this ruined trunk here if you can see that all right <clears throat> yeah I can tell when I'm getting closer to the shot because the um thing goes missing yeah let's do it this way dear oh dear camera work hey so yeah so there you go so that's the shot. I mean, well, that's the view anyway. That's probably better to show you that way, isn't it? I mean, you can see the view there. I mean, it is. Oh, we've got a bit of mist coming in. Look. Oh, could get some atmosphere. Yeah, this fog keeps rolling in and out all the time. It catches you by surprise almost. So this is definitely going to generate a bit of atmosphere for this shot. So um, I'm going to, yeah, look at it. Look at all this. See it all coming in here? That literally was 30 seconds ago. That wasn't there. So, um, and, and over there as well, look. So hopefully it looks like we've got a bank of mist or fog coming up the hill. So um, I'm gonna bugger off quickly, get these shots. Um, if you are, if you did watch my video, cause obviously you've seen the video that I've put up already. I haven't seen it yet cause I'm still in the woods filming. Uh, I really do appreciate you've come back to watch another one. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, it's, as I say, I'm a learner. Uh, so uh, learn along with me. Um, and we'll um we'll go on some kind of journey together anyway whether it's a good one or not i don't know but um yeah so i'm gonna get this shot and hopefully this atmosphere is gonna carry on thickening up and um yeah i really really will turn into a really good session this morning Okay, uh, I'm not going to stray too far from the camera because basically uh, I don't have a microphone so the only mic I'm picking up on is this one. <coughs> DGI, hurry up with that mic system. Uh, as you can see, this is the tree, um, that's the avenue. So this is the Alvin Avenue. Uh, unfortunately, without, um, without any leaves on the trees, there's way too much sky exposed. So I'm probably not going to get a shot of this today. Uh, there's fair amount of bluebells over this side and I don't know if it will follow me around this way yeah it does look at that almost looks professional <laughs> this avenue here is another great section of beech trees and again it looks like there's some mist rolling up from the hill so I might compose um, a shot that leads down this way um, because it's a shot I did try to do before. I, better, I keep looking away from camera, I shouldn't do that. It's a shot I did try before, but there, there just wasn't enough mist to make it work. Uh, but there's plenty of background there so that it hides the sky, because you're, you're obviously going down the hill there, but um, there's enough sort of tree branches above it to sort of minimize that. And if we overexpose this, uh, that slightly, we can, we can bring out the, the whites uh, in Lightroom and Photoshop and hopefully that will uh, make it look a little bit more misty. But this tree here, if you follow me back. Yeah, I'll get my big lug out of the way. This tree here is magnificent. <laughs> it is absolutely magnificent. But yeah, conditions today, I'm not gonna get the best out of it. I've got a better shot already in the bag, but we might take a shot anyway and just uh, see what happens. But um, yeah. So after that, after this section here, I'm going to hang around here for a little while, just in case, because it does look like there's mist coming up here. So I might just compose this shot. If I do, and it does happen, you'll see it now. Otherwise, 
I'll see you at the top of the hill up there. Probably a little bit more out of breath and a little bit more red faced. Okay guys, uh, so this is my last shot of the day. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the car after this. It's, um, yeah, it's starting to look like it's gonna get quite wet and rainy in a minute, so, and the, the mist is just not, not appearing, it's not happening. But I have found this composition, which doesn't really rely on mist. Um, it removes a lot of the sky, which has been, as you can see in the background behind me, has been quite an issue now. Uh, so I'll just show you, turn the camera around, as you can see. So it's just this line of beech trees just fading off into the distance here. I mean, they look spectacular, don't they? Absolutely spectacular. All this bright green moss on them at the minute. It's just, yeah, just epic, epic. Uh, I've got a couple of swords hanging on my wall at home. I might just bring um, a couple up with me next time, as long as I don't scare the locals. And um, maybe do um, maybe do like a um, fantasy-esque style shot. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> it's worth a go. Uh, my, <laughs> my missus, um, she's in a drama group. And I'm just wondering if they got like a Lord of the Rings style uh, cowl or cape or something there. And I can have a shot of me sort of holding the sword in the background wearing a big black cape. Lord of the Rings-esque, but um, yeah, maybe not. <clears throat> so, this is the shot. Uh, as you can probably just make out on the back of the camera, the follow me function is working. There you go. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But um, yeah, so that's the shot. Uh, you'll see it on camera. Uh, you'll see it on the video because uh, it is a nice shot and I will put it up. And um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Um, I do appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> it is uh, it is calamitous. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's crazy. It's silly, um, but I'm enjoying it. So I'm hoping you are too. Uh, please like and subscribe, as I said already. And I will catch you on the next one. I've got a week off next week, so hopefully I'll be producing a few videos in the for that for the next for next few weeks next week. Um, conditions mainly bluebells, I'm thinking, because it is that kind of time of the year now. So it's just a shame there weren't so many out today. Unfortunately, it was not really worth even trying to photograph them. But in a couple of weeks' time, I'm going to be back up here again. So take care. Catch you soon. Bye bye.